Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Thief to the Metal Age. We are in the mission for City Bank and Trust, and we are Who's there? in a oh. bank that is crawling with guards and robots. So in other words, it's not fun. for it. Sweet. Now, in here we've just got a little closet you can use to kind of get out of... get out of sight and stuff. Oh yeah, we get, a, we get to see a big robot now. Another big robot. With cannons and dangerous. See, here we've got one. I have not determined this incident. I'm gonna wait for it to I give thanks for my go back the other way. Now, I'm gonna quick save here, and then we've got a bunch of coins to collect in here. And we run into the first very easily, easily missed loot, which is four sets of coins there. Those can be missed very easily. And I have missed them very easily in the past and then had to come back and search for nearly 30 minutes until I found them because I didn't know where to look. First, I'm gonna check where I am. I'm in this room, so I was just back there, I believe. So this way will lead me towards the lobby, I believe. I believe this will lead to the lobby. Yes, it leads me to this room, which is right next to the lobby. So, I'm gonna come over here and turn this light off. And we can hear watchers and they're everywhere come on Garrett make your comment I'll never be able to cross through here with there all those go. security machines active so I need to find a way to shut those down grab the loot from up there all clerks, please refrain from addressing clients by name. Some clients have express, expressed nervousness that they are known personally, that the details of their finances are available to someone who would recognize them on the street. We must make a point of deliberate impersonality in all our dealings with clients. Which is reasonable, I suppose. I don't think I'd be comfortable with somebody knowing how much money I've got stashed in a bank that I see all the time on the street. I don't think it would be... wouldn't exactly be a comfortable arrangement. But now we gotta unlock all four of these safes. We got a health potion from that one. some money from that one. And because you have to be close to 
pick the locks. I can't stay in the shadows to do it. <sighs> this one is definitely a long chapter. I'm thinking this will probably be at least two hours worth of recording. Maybe not. I might be able to condense it a bit. Because I'm... I should know what I'm doing. Oh. So there, we've gotten all the loot from in there. We haven't gotten a key yet. Okay, now... Where does this lead? It's this side, I think. Yes, it's that side. Because I'm now in that hallway there. Okay. This one I will be using the map a few times to kind of get my... find out where I am, kind of get my bearings and where I need to go. Okay, is that guy up above or is he over there? Either way, I gotta be careful. Oh. We've got a couple of patrols there. I'm not gonna try that just yet. I'm gonna come back over here. And I'm gonna head over was there anything on this table before I go anywhere? No. I'm gonna go through this door. Locked, of course. We've got ourselves another little robot over here. He appears to be stuck on the fountain. That kind of works out well for me. Because now... Okay, it's actually stuck in the fountain? How did that happen? I hope it didn't notice me. I'm seriously wondering how in the hell it got stuck in the fountain. Oh well. Makes it easier for me. As far as I know, it shouldn't have even gone near the fountain. I mean, it patrols that carpet around the fountain, but it shouldn't have gone into the fountain. I don't mind. As I said, makes it easier for me. This place is... There's a lot of different routes and a lot of different ways to get from one place to another, but yet they always seem to be blocked by a patrol or something, no matter which route you try to use. Who's there? Oh. There we go. 
Now, I think that's the only patrol through this part. We've got ourselves a ventilation shaft there. That's the exit from it. We can't get into it from here. I'm gonna head over here and duck into the corner to quick save because I don't think I have for a while. In there is the room we came upstairs into. And it's a good thing that I quick saved because that thing noticed me and set off the alarm immediately. Okay, now moving on away from the the camera or watcher or whatever you want to call them. I don't know why I've been calling them watchers. I don't think I've ever seen them called that. It's just what I said and I liked the idea of calling them watchers. So Cuz they're not just a camera. They've got a face on them. They're like a face. Now, I'm running low on moss arrows. I'm gonna have to save at least a couple for once I get to the vault. I'm gonna see if I can do this. See if I can block the door as he's coming in. I'm gonna come over here into the shadows and save real quick. Because if this doesn't work, then he's gonna attack me immediately. Oh, what's over there? <laughs> it worked. <clears throat> Someone say something. It's never real. See, even the slightest touch on those tiles, and they can hear it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna come over here real quick. And that door leads into that area. So, this door. <clears throat> this leads outside. Not sure if I can pick the lock or not. Yes, I can. Okay. leads to that door where there were the two guards standing in front of it. Now, I'm gonna open this, and we've got a big robot right there. That room has a few guards in it as well. Do I have a rope arrow? Yes, I've got three of them. I might be using those. Okay, yeah, this is where our friendly robot is stuck in the fountain. Probably should have just to be safe. I'm 
No. I can hear a guard coming through, so I'm gonna wait for a moment. Because he's right where I'm going. I'm gonna wait for him to go through this door. And we gotta be careful because through this window are a couple of cameras that will catch me if I'm not. <gasps> I'm not careful. He saw me when he came through. And I hope... Okay, uh, I can... Yeah, that robot noticed me. Oh, crap. Hmm. You know what? I might come down to this end. And just climb up right here. Robot, her cameras won't really notice me over here. Hopefully. I won't be able to knock out that guard just yet. <sighs> gonna take my rope barrel back. And I'm gonna head in here. Somehow that robot, I don't know where it is, is noticing me as soon as I go by there. Anyway, Parcel, I hear there's a copper monger on Center Street who's offering good prices for half pence minted more than 20 years ago. Something about luck charms. Guess the luck of the city's been pretty bad the past couple decades. What think you the pair of us go through the half penny stores after hours tonight, Will? I'm just gonna let that robot do its thing. I'm gonna grab the coins from right there. And we don't want to hit this lever because it turns on all these lights here. Where's that guard? Don't tell me he comes through that door. I'm gonna come over here and Turn off this light to give me a bit more shadow to work with. I'm 
gonna put all that gas lamp. Okay, you turn around. And I seriously, I don't know where that robot is or how it notices me when I'm being absolutely quiet and barely making any noise coming through that door. But I'm gonna have to just deal with it. Ah, it's in here. Oh, okay, yeah. That happens sometimes in this spot. We've got a robot there. Actually, yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them in there, and they get stuck sometimes, so. So I think we're okay to let them just be alerted. They're not gonna cause me too much prob too many problems. Over here we've got a goblet. Then just to make things a bit easier, I'm gonna put that out. And we've got the records hull. There's the Hall of Records right there, which is where I want to go to. Gonna run. Now to find some useful information. <sighs> I don't think there's anything in here. But I'll look just in case. This is what we need. Client and box number. Lord Signoli, 7. DM Gilver, exporting, 8. The Widow's Hospice, 9. Mechanist Secondary Finance Box, 10. Mechanist Storage Box, 11. That's the one we want. Sergeant Bander, 12, Lady Shemenov, 13, and Selentura, 14. So. Now, I don't believe there's anything else in the Hall of Records. There's a couple of plants here, but you can pick them up and throw them, and that's it. Now. We've got a goblet there. And I'm going for it. And I got it. Now stay still. That goes out to the meeting hall, but it's a balcony in the meeting hall, so I don't want to go there. Okay, now, we know which box number it is. We've got a trap there that alerts that thing. And there's guards down below and over there. Okay. I'm gonna head downstairs then. I think I can head down here. Wonder what? Well, 
Where all the money for the fancy marble and, and the carvings and the art comes from? From all the people who give the bank their money. No, no, no. If the bank spends it on fancy stuff, what if they want it back? Well, maybe some of them die first and never ask for it back. Well, could be. I keep my gold home locked up myself. Safer that way. All right, what is that? Okay, yeah, I didn't get that guy. Wonder what? Well, where all the money for the fancy marble and, and the carvings? All right, what is that? Dang. I want to get both of them with that. marble and, and the carvings and the art comes from from all the people who give the bank their money no no, no. if the bank spends it on Let's fancy try this. stuff what if they want it back really well maybe some of them die first and never ask for it back well i'm pretty sure there's someone in the building That didn't work. <laughs> And I like how that guard just right in the middle of their conversation. Well, I'm pretty sure there's someone in the building. marble and, and the carvings and the art comes from from all the people who give the bank their money no, no no if the bank spends it on fancy stuff let's try this well, show, yourself. show yourself dang it i apologize for reloading so much but this is I don't want to waste anything. You ever wonder, looking at all this? Wonder what? Well, where uh, all the money for the fancy... <clears throat> That's what I wanted to do. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, this is the meeting hall. I'm going to come over here. We've got a lonely little robot here. I don't know if I have to, but I want to get them out of the out of the open. So 
Over here, we've got this room. Was there anything in here? No. Okay, first I'm gonna open this and then I'll be... Oh, that key doesn't work. Nice. I'm gonna open this, put the bodies in here, and grab the loot from here, and then I'll be ending the episode. with because first we've got 10 stacks of coins there then nine there and a coin purse in the back That's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.